Which you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft just took away a key Windows 10 feature that might affect some people that are using Windows 10 PCs that aren't enrolled on the Extended Security Updates program, ESU for short. Now you've always had the ability to basically pause updates. As you can see right here, the pause updates for seven days is available. But as soon as you do these updates on a fresh clean install here, you can see the pause updates for seven days is available on this system. This is a clean install. I'm just doing the Windows updates on this system. I haven't enrolled on the extended security updates program, as you can see right here. I'm going to install these updates. And after we install these updates right here, the paused updates for seven days will suddenly be grayed out and you will not be able to uh, pause updates on that PC again. So basically the paused updates for seven days option appears to be faded or grayed out. Uh, this also happens when you accidentally start the uh, Windows 11 upgrade. You can't cancel uh, the upgrade. It won't allow you to suddenly pause your upgrade to stop the upgrade process and basically stop it in its tracks it wants to now force you once you start the process to finish it off so if you accidentally click on upgrade uh, to windows 11 and you're on the windows 10 system that is eligible for windows 11 then what will happen is you will then completely be rolled out to windows 11 upgrade you won't be able to suddenly pause it which is to me a bit of a dirty trick on microsoft's part because they want you to go to Windows 11. Now, the way it used to work before is if you've used the paused updates feature a number of times, uh, it normally gets grayed out and it stops you from using the paused updates for seven days button uh, in the future. It just stays grayed out. Now, this obviously has changed. Now, what they're doing is basically after you've updated Windows, if you're not enrolled, basically what's happening is the paused updates for seven days is completely grayed out without even clicking on the paused updates for seven days. Now, whether this is a bug or a glitch, I don't know. But if you sign into the Windows 10 ESU program, hopefully this problem doesn't exist for you. Now, I'll show you this right now so you can see the button will be grayed out. All we've done is basically done an update on the system and pause updates for seven days should now be grayed out and you won't be able to use that feature. Now, if you did, say for instance, click on Windows 11 upgrade and you're on Windows 10 and your PC supports Windows 11, you're not going to be able to stop it by clicking on the paused updates for seven days to stop the upgrade process happening. It's just not gonna let you do that because now the button has been grayed out as I'll show you right here. So let's go into the update and security button here and you can now see that the paused updates for seven days is grayed out and you can't do anything with it. And you still have access to install updates as soon as possible and you can use that feature there. But unless you enroll, this paused updates for seven days is not gonna work. And that means if you have a, an update going in and you wanted to quickly pause it, you can't because if you paused it, it will stop the update from being installed and it will then pause your updates uh, for that computer. Now, I don't know why Microsoft are going ahead and doing this. Maybe it's uh, some sort of reasoning behind it or maybe it's a bug, I don't know. But at the end of the day, Windows 10 has reached end of life for mainstream support and we are on extended support for Windows 10. So whether that is a big problem, I really don't know because theoretically you shouldn't be getting any feature updates for Windows 10 because we are in end of life for this operating system. It's just a bit unusual for Microsoft to uh, do this now when Windows 10 has already reached end of life. Uh, the only reason I can think of as well is there's still lots of people on uh, you know, Windows 10. There's like a billion computers on Windows 10 still, and maybe it's some sort of ploy by Microsoft. I really don't know. Uh, if you go to advanced options right here, you will see paused options are grayed out here. The pause limit has been reached. You'll need to install the latest updates 
on the device before you can pause again. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be grayed out. So we haven't paused the system at all. It's a fresh install, but now you've reached a paused limit. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click on the enroll now or use the install updates as soon as possible. You'll get this message right here on the system where it says your device will restart once the download is complete you will get 15 minutes reminder to save your work and it will automatically restart the system after that so let's go ahead and follow that through and you should see a box now popping up and you should now see the downloads happening on the system and with this happening like this you'll get downloads coming down and then you'll get the box popping up telling you that the system is going to restart and uh, you can then make your decisions on what you're going to need to do but what we're going to do is do this and then you can see it's almost time to restart so let's go ahead and restart the system now and then what we'll do is we'll see whether that paused updates for seven days comes back because we've now reset it by doing this so let's go ahead and do that right here i'm going to quickly restart the system and then once we get back to the desktop we'll be able to check whether those uh grayed out boxes have gone back and been reset so we're just letting the system restart here and once we get back to the desktop we'll be able to see now let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below what the reasoning for this is or whether it's a bug or whether it's something that microsoft are doing in some sort of sinister way i really don't know i'd like to read your comments and your opinions on it and again i'm pretty sure some of you are just going to be uh on the it's microsoft being microsoft uh sort of thing you know but let's go ahead and check the settings panel here and go back into update and security and you can see it's still grayed out and it's not letting you uh pause updates still so i'm going to say don't restart as soon as possible here and this will put this back so let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below on this peculiar uh, grayed out pause updates for seven is it really a big deal or is it just uh, a bug or is it microsoft being microsoft let me know anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group whether you're supporting me through uh first line support or second line support or third line support i really do appreciate it Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.